From Archie Manning on, each school's greats have battled for one thing. They battled for the Golden Egg. Win it this year, and Jackie Sherrill takes Mississippi State to the SEC title. They broke the back of a 228-pound horse. He's been free-range in SEC secondaries. The Mississippi State defense attacks from all angles, leaving opponents scrambling for answers. And there's always something special cooking in the kicking game. Heroics from Mississippi State last week have added championship implications to a heated rivalry. So with that distinct dislike, they battle for the Golden Age Trophy, state pride, and postseason destination. Mississippi State won the toss, deferred to the second half. That's why Ole Miss is ready to receive. The Jeff Walker kickoff is a line drive one-hopper past Maurice Fornoy, who picks it up at the four. Fornoy down to the 14, well covered by Pick Prather, the freshman running back for Mississippi State. Running down, and they run with McAllister. McAllister, first down to midfield. We'll try a 40-yarder. On line, and good. They found a way to win without him. They back into the air on second and eight. Looking long. Four catches out of bounds, but it will be first and goal for Mississippi State. Great protection for Wayne Matkin to give Kim, Kevin Prentice a chance to work against Timothy Strickland. Got him turned around, Mike, on the corner route. Ball laid out perfectly for him, but good pass protection. Johnson again. Touchdown! It's Tommy Tuberville. Every paper in the South says he's gone to Auburn. I asked him about it yesterday. I personally have not been contacted. I've not accepted a job. I'm not looking for a job. But you never say never, and I, I'm, I'm not the one that will, will lie to anybody. I'm just not going to do that. So uh, yeah, it's been a tough on my family and on the fans here and probably fans at other places. Uh, but the players, it doesn't really bother them. Johnson's back in the lineup here on second and nine. And gets the first down. Roy may not be 100%, but James Johnson can still move. Third and seven. First down away to the 43. The blitz picked up. Action fires complete. For the first down. So many of them from the state of Mississippi. Johnson got a good block. A yard shy of the first down. Nick Penn pulled him down. And out of the air. Gary, third and ten. Matthew looking for his third completion. Let's one up deep. Oh, a great job to come back with a reception by Reggie Kelly, the tight end, his longest reception of the season, 38 yards. High receivers, and Reginald Kelly, the tight end, just runs down the football field, runs a post. Now, he never gives up on the play. He continually tries to find way back in the football. Didn't come back exactly like he wanted to, but... Trying to pull away the Ole Miss Rebels and make sure this doesn't uh, alleviate and aggravate 
more. Going against Corey Peterson. Uses his hands very well. Gets his fourth interception of the year. And then the activity afterwards place at the tail spot. Matching pass on first down to Terrence McCaskey, the big tight end. Vincenzo Miller, a freshman, is in at the tailback spot. Mackin going up top. Complete for Prentice inside the 30 to the 29. Good drive going in from the 28. Mackin looking at Enzo. Incomplete. What an effort by Timothy Strickland. Keeping Kevin Cooper from what would have been his fourth touchdown of the year. Ball game that sealed the win, and he just does a great job of closing on Kevin Cooper right here. The post pattern, you can see the distance that he made up. Great closing speed to deflect that football in his left hand. Out of the gun comes Matkin. They rush five. Will a screen beat the blitz? With the Senzo Miller! Senzo Miller gets the football, both linemen are downfield, making blocks to get the Senzo Miller in the end zone. Nice job cutting back against the green to score that touchdown. He saw Anthony McGee, took off to the right, got in the end zone. True freshman out of Weir, Mississippi, honorable man. Because Mar says, Joe Lee is sending him. Give me help, boys. Here they come. Up for grabs. By Eric Daniel, and it is an interception as he lost control after it. Blitz by number 17, Tim Nelson, coming from the side. No one blocks him. Gets into David Morris's body. Couldn't get anything on the football. Here's the interception by Eric Daniel. <laughs> Correct call. He took Birmingham Post Herald today, talking about how Tupperville will be in Auburn, Alabama tomorrow. in the second week of the season. On the deflection with Hurt virtually out of bounds. Nelson able to keep it in play. And Jackie Sherrill says, that away, 17, to the end zone. Next stop, SEC title game. Is unsuspecting and nailed by Kelvin Love and Matt Butler. Says Mississippi State takes a knee, and for the fifth consecutive year, the egg bowl, the Golden Egg Trophy, will be taken home by the road team. James Johnson has trophy in hand. So this game of great players, great moments, and great rivalry has had its latest chapter, the hopes of one final swan song with success and keeping the dogs out of the title game. The hitting was hard. The player who was the star played through pain, and Mississippi State won the West title.